Okay, so for this lesson, we are finding uh, missing angle measures. So they've given us this angle right here, angle 136, and they're asking me the value of x, which is right here. I see that these are alternate interior angles, and I know that those are congruent. The other thing that I know is these are both obtuse. If they're both obtuse, they're congruent. So if this one's 136, so is this one. All right. Look at number two. They're giving me this one and this one here. All right. This is 125. This is obtuse. This one x is acute. So that means that they're supplementary. That means that I'm going to have to tr subtract the 125 degrees they gave me from 180. And I get 55 degrees. Okay, 53 degrees and this. They're both acute. They're also corresponding. So that means that their angle measures are congruent. So if this one's 53, so is this one. All right? They're wanting me to do this one and this one. This is same side exterior. I see this one's acute and this one's obtuse. This one, uh, not a, okay, they've got that labeled wrong. This should be 110, and that one's, they mislabeled this. All right, but I do see that one is obtuse and one is acute. They're not equal. So I'm going to have to do supplementary. I'm going to have to do 180 degrees minus the 110, 70 degrees. Sometimes they don't always draw angles to scale, so I'm just going by what they have labeled. I believe they've mislabeled this. This is an acute angle, not an obtuse, but we'll go with what they've labeled. All right, I see this angle at 61 and this. They're both acute, so if one, and they're also vertical, So if this one's 61, the other one is 61. All right, this one and this one. They're mislabeling these all over the place, and I don't like it because this is obviously obtuse, but they're saying it's 88 degrees. So these are alternate exterior angles. That means they are congruent. So if this one's 88, so is this one. Right. This one's obtuse. This one's acute. These are different. Right? We've got one obtuse, one acute. They are same side interior. That means they're supplementary. So 180 minus 118. 62 degrees. Alright, we've got 140 and this value right here. These are corresponding angles. They're also both obtuse. So they are congruent. So if one is 140, so is the other. This next page is a little different. They tell me that this angle is 100 degrees, and they want me to figure out this angle. These are same side exterior. 
That means that this angle plus this angle have to equal 180 degrees. So 180 minus the 100 is 80 degrees. This right here has to equal 80 degrees. So the angle measure is 80 degrees. They want me to find the value of x. x plus 10 has to equal 80 degrees. So minus 10 minus 10 x would equal 70. All right. I've got same side interior. All right, that means that this plus this has to equal 180 degrees. The first thing I'm going to do is subtract to that 132 and I get 48 degrees. So 3x plus 9 has to equal 48 degrees. The angle measure is 48. I'm going to subtract 9, or you could insolve at this point. 48 minus 9 is 39, divide by 3, x equals 13. Okay. Number three, these are not congruent. They have to add up to 180 degrees. So I'm going to do 180 minus 121, and I get 59. So the angle measure is 59 degrees, and then 6x minus 1 has to equal 59 degrees. So plus 1. You could insolve right here if you're not good with your steps. Uh, 60 divided by 6. x equals 10. These two angles are alternate exterior. They are congruent. So if this one equals 64, so does this one. 8x equals 64. The angle measure was 64, and 64 divided by 8 is 8. Alright, number 5. These are alternate interiors. They're equal. So this one equals 135. x plus 15 has to equal 135. So the angle measure is 135. I'm going to solve. And 20. Because alternate interiors are congruent. All right, these are corresponding. So they're congruent. So if this one's 92, so is the other one. The value of x, 8x minus 4 has to equal 92. So plus 4, 8x equals 96, divide by 8. And 96 divided by 8. I knew that. 12. Alright, last two. These are vertical angles. They are congruent. Vertical. They're congruent. So if this one's 51, so is this one. So x plus 1 has to equal 51. So minus 1, minus 1, x would equal 49. And the last one, this angle and this angle. Those are same side 
exterior. They are not congruent. They add up to 180 degrees. So if this one is 95, the other one is 85. So x would be 5x minus 15 has to equal 85 degrees. So add 15. 5x equals 100 and divide both sides by 5 and you get x equals 20. So that's it for this lesson.